Hello traders, D7 here with free trading videos and the markets drop just like we thought would happen. And as you see, we're down 2.7 on the Dow, but 3%, 4% big, big down day here. Russell's down four, that's the big one. VIX has popped back up, but check this out, not by that much compared to the big deep cut that we got today. The VIX is just over, we're at 39 um, at the close yesterday, we're at 42.6. Um, so um, fear indicator isn't selling, it just didn't spike like I thought it would happen. But if we, as we zoom in here, this is looking at the S&P daily. We came up, smacked our head at the uh, 20 and 50 day moving averages. And we had the um, the 50 Fibonacci right here. And we're at 875, major, major resistance. There's nothing you can do with that resistance. Now, the only thing that would cause that thing to a pop through is major bullish volume. We just did not have that. After a big drop like this, and you're up for four days, expect a pullback. And we said that in yesterday's video. So here we are. We have ourselves a good old-fashioned bearish Harami reversal pattern. And if we go lower than this tomorrow, that should just send us right down. I do expect the C support. We have this green line coming across from this low right there. And we had this, well, let me go back here and scrunch this so you can see what I'm talking about. We swing low here, this blue line coming up, and that swing low. And um, both of these areas, this green line, this blue line, should act as support. Because we have a big ascending triangle, or I'm sorry, a symmetrical triangle. These can be bearish or bullish. If we do continue down, at that point I will draw a secondary trend line right there to right here. Now, I can't technically put that in right now, not yet at least, uh, because we don't have a down leg started. A down leg or two or more candlesticks going in any one direction. Now, if I were to zoom in, we have this big triangle, symmetrical triangle, but then we have this smaller one starting to develop. That's if we do go down tomorrow, which I do expect, and um, get rid of these crosshairs. So I do expect to come down. Well, we did not make it back up here to the 900 area, which we should have done. So this is telling me this is more bearish of a triangle than bullish because we did not make it back up here where we hit it there. Here, we did not hit it there. So if we drop here, that means we're slowing down on our momentum. It's still a symmetrical triangle, and it still could go either direction. But like I said in yesterday's video, however a symmetrical triangle is entered is technically the direction that it should drop or pop. So because this was entered, you know, coming down, this should break down. So in my heart of hearts, what I'm thinking here is that we will get a breakdown. The question on this next leg down is are we going to find support here and then rally back, which could happen, consolidate in here, or will we in fact break down? If we do break down, I want to see us bounce at 800. That would be a nice area to see a bounce and an about face heading back north. Uh, but chances are we're going to get down here to 775. Um, but I'll tell you, 775 would have this swing low, this swing low, boom, boom, boom. You know, if it got down right there, 775 where we had a drop, we have two major support areas. But I'll tell you, 750, would, we better stop there. And, and you've heard me say it for several videos now. That is a major area. So I'm expecting some downward pressure here. But it could be short-lived because of all this support that we have coming up. So I'm not going to load up that heavy on shorts, but you better have your short positions in place right now with stop losses on your longs because things are looking very grim. On a bull side, if we were to do something bullish, that would be if we were to start consolidating sideways. So if Friday, Monday, and Tuesday were just go sideways right there, that would be very, very 
bullish because that would be a high base formation or a bullish pennant and that would send us probably skyward up north and um, that would be really interesting to see however I just think that we need to bleed out a little more and I see us down here sometime very soon so um, you know what I'm gonna show you something here in the markets this is a um, let's pull this down just a hair this is MSN money and um, MSN money has uh, this deepening economic slump plummets Wall Street. Stocks tumble on Thursday, derailing a four-day run-up in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ as investors worried that the recession was deepening after a fresh wave of bleak labor market housing data. I'll tell you, this is not new information. Labor, mar um, labor market and housing data we know it's going to be bleak. We know it's going to be bleak for the next six months at least, the economist tells us. The reason that we dropped wasn't because of this information. The reason we dropped is because we were at major resistance and we dropped down. If you, if you need to wake up and really understand technical analysis, technical analysis is raw data. Raw data is where it's at. Learn price action, that's this. The chart itself is called price action coupled with volume price action and volume that is where it is at learn them and learn them well so there you have it welcome everybody that's been coming up signing up at free training videos we love all the new people and we will look forward to catching you in the forums and chatting with you there until next time take care